So in the last video, we started trends in categorical data. And in this video, here's a problem from the last video. You could pause the video right now, look at it if you'd like. We'll look at another problem. So again, pause it, read it, try it out, and then press play and we'll solve it together. All right, so these problems right here, there's a lot of context to get through in these problems. But the, the basic idea is that um, you are trying to find usually three percentages and we're using this table here to find those percentages. So I recommend, and you kind of skip reading this part right here because you should just jump to this here and see what is the first thing you have to find and then backtrack and find the information. It just tends to be faster. So first of all, again, the first part here, it says percentage of acoustic guitars that needed neck repair. Okay, so you look at this table and we can't, maybe figure it out immediately because some of these problems you might need to read back here and figure it out and I'll I'll give you an example in a moment but first let's solve this problem as it is um, so acoustic guitars that need a neck repair so we have acoustic guitars so it's kind of like saying given that it's an acoustic so we're dealing with guitars in this column that it needs neck repair so out of all the acoustic guitars that's 131 so I'll put the work right here there are 131 acoustic guitars and 41 of them need neck repair and that will be our percentage right so this is going to be 41 out of 131 41 divided by 131 and you get about 31 percent but if we now we should read back and see what they want they want it to the nearest hundredth percent so that's going to be 31.297 use the seven to round up this would be the hundredth percent right because this is really 31.29%, but this seven rounds it up to 10 essentially, and it's 31.3. So it's about, oops, it's about 31.3%. So this is 0 0.312977, and that is about 31.3 to nearest hundred three zero should also work percent. And in some other problems, though, it might be slightly different. You should look out for this. They say stuff like, okay, and there would be more information up here. Um, maybe they would say, the, what's the chance that Susie's guitar needs neck repair? So in other words, they would cross out acoustic guitars, and they would say, what's the, ch what's the percent or chance that Susie needs neck repair on her guitar? And then you have to read back and say, well, okay, Susie plays acoustic guitar and then you go to the table and read it so some of these you have to read about each person but when that happens again I recommend you look at the things you're trying to solve here and then read back to get the details otherwise the problem can be a little bit overwhelming the next one it says percentage of all guitars okay so all guitars that's all the guitars is right here right so 262 that's all the guitars in the study okay that were acoustic and did not need neck repair. So out of acoustic, we have 60 that have broken strings and 60 that have body repair, a third that need body repair, and altogether that's 90. So it's 90 out of 262. Okay, so that means, we just calculate that, 90 divided by 262. Okay, 34.35. So, all right. So I'm gonna write 0 0.34. Three five, if I got that correct, and as a percent, that's going to be thirty four point three five percent. And then finally, we have the percentage of all electric guitars that had a broken string or needed body repair. So let's go to electric. Given that it's electric, there are one hundred and thirty two, one hundred thirty one guitars that are electric, and broken string or body repair. So broken string or body repair. 48 plus 34 is 82. So it's 82 out of 131. And that's our final calculation here. 82 divided by 131. And that's 62.595. Okay, so 0 0.62595, which is 62.6%. 62.6%. And... Um, so again, the, the last thing is, this was an easier type of this problem. Just notice that sometimes they'll ask you about specific people, like what is the chance that Bob, uh, Bob
Bob's guitar will have a broken string or need body repair. Then you have to read up here and it would tell you that Bob plays electric. And then you get the same answer because you have to find out, okay, Bob plays electric, so I answer it this way. And you might also see, let's say, Tim. In this one right here, percentage of all guitars, it would just say, you just know that Tim plays guitar. That's all you know. You don't know anything else. You don't know if it's acoustic or electric. And then in that case, um, well, I guess actually I'm wrong on this one. You couldn't really translate that directly. I can't think of an easy way. But in some of them, if you don't know much about the person, it might be referring to the entire population that you're dealing with. In this case, all guitars. So if you this if you need help on one of those problems, if you're encountering ones that don't look like this and you want help, just let me know and I'll I'll make a video covering it. Thank you.